All right, so today we're working on a uh, pencil sharpener. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really nice. You can really you can really put a nice tip on the pencil with this. Uh, some people might think it's an overkill, but if you want a good quality pencil tip, this is what you're gonna need to build. Is one of these benches it makes it really nice for shaving down pencils. If you want to see how I made this bench, stick around, I'll show you how I did it. <laughs> okay, so today we're working on a uh, spoke shape bench. Um, not actually a pencil sharpener, but that's what I used it for. Um, here I'm just uh, cutting a wedge. I just grabbed some scrap pieces of wood I had laying around and, and uh, just wanted something I could skin the bark off of. Uh, hiking sticks with and if I needed to uh, shave one down make it smaller or whatever I could uh, do it real easy and I needed a simple clamping device that would uh, you could sit on and uh, make a nice looking hiking stick and there's a lot of different variations of these on the internet I picked this one here this is uh, people use this one for making bows recurve type of bow and uh, I just like I said just use some scrap wood I cut out that wind and then here I'm, I cut out the, uh, the seat part and then I'm cutting a groove in here for the wedge to slide in it just it makes the height adjustment for uh, different thicknesses or whatever you're trying to clamp in the clamp in there So this is just a quick, just a little quick video showing how I built this one. Uh, I noticed after I built this one there's a lot of different kinds. Uh, I just picked this one because it fit the uh, wood that I had laying around. Some of it I used out of uh, pallet wood, some of it I had a by 10 so I used it a little piece of uh, 4x4 this here is a piece for the ramp going up it's just a piece of pine that I had in the shed you can pin these things together with uh, dowel rods I put a couple of screws in this one just to hold that wedge in place or not the wedge but the board that sets on the wedge there uh, I'm gonna make it adjust more adjustable as I need to make it adjustable all I need to do is drill more holes in those uh, two by fours there I had a piece of dowel rod that I had used for something else at one time and didn't need it anymore so I uh, used it for my clamp and my my uh, foot pedals and here I'm just putting on some temporary legs so I can I had plans to uh, make legs out of uh, some more pallet wood that I had laying there but I needed the spoke shave to be able to control them down to fit in the holes making a quick set of legs like I said enough to hold me up till I can get the other legs made and here it is in uh, working condition uh, it's, it's not done yet but uh, I was just trying it out I ordered a uh, cheap uh, draw knife from uh, Amazon, I think it was like $23 and tried it out and worked pretty good.
there's the adjustment there just slide the block back and forth for height adjustment I can get stuff in there up to about two inches down to uh, down to nothing right now and then if I uh, where my uh, big uh, tent peg goes through the middle there through those uh, through the clamping legs pivot if I drill some more holes an inch apart, then uh, I'll have uh, pretty good adjustability there. I found that if you uh, put a stick in here at an angle, you can just slide it back past you, and uh, you can do as long a stick as you need to get in there. Alright, so I cut down the stick pretty nice. This is a piece of pine. Not the strongest stick in the world, but uh, it'll make a nice uh, decorative stick. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit, I think. I think. I can shorten it up a little bit. We'll get something carved on it, and uh, then we'll have another another nice lightweight hiking stick. Love how this thing's working. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a couple tweaks on it, make it all stay together good. But uh, <clears throat> I think it'll work great. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I got this week's carving done, and uh, it turned out pretty nice. So if you want to see how I did this on a uh, spoke shape bench, then uh, stick around and I'll show you how I did it.